All right, couple more. And last one, let's take a break. How you guys doing? <laughs> All right, we gotta do the other side. <laughs> you gotta do the other side? Okay, let's come back up again. Bottom down, back flat, neck long. Make sure your shoulders are directly over your wrists. You want to avoid this, okay? So when I'm here, I'm putting a lot of stress on the front of my shoulder blades. I want to come forward so my chest goes through my arms and my shoulders are lined up right over my wrists. Left leg up in balance. Beautiful. And knee to elbow. We've got one and two. Remember, we're going to stay really tight through the torso. Good, very nice, you guys. Hips are pointing down, shoulders over the wrists, and neck nice and long. Couple more. And last one. Okay, take that same leg, I want you to kick through, and then out to the side. Work in the left side of the body here. And again, good. Long kick. All right, three more. Last two, keep the neck long. And last one. Now we're going to take that left knee to the outside of the elbow. Make sure you keep your shoulders over your wrists all the way out. And back together. Breathe. Again, stabilize through the torso. And again. Let's do three more, you guys. Ready? Three. And two. And last one. All right, take a break. Let's push back onto our heels. Reach out with the arms and then just relax the shoulders. Quick stretch. Now I want you to swing your legs back around and now you're gonna grab your ball. And we're gonna go back into that seated position, long through the spine. So imagine you have that string right through the middle of your head. Come back, when you feel the abdominals engage, you've got your ball in your hand, arms out to the side. And if you can, left legs come up and right leg comes up and then pass the ball and all the way over to the other side, straight arms. Bring the ball all the way down, touch the ground, legs up if you can. That's it, straight arms, good. So this is perfect, she's got long, straight arms, the arms come all the way up overhead. She's holding her balance and using her core. Very nice, Annie. How many more can she do? I know this girl, she could do a lot, good. Keep your knees soft, relax your neck. Good, let's do four more, four. Straight arms, send it all the way up overhead. Three, good, two, and one more. Take a break. All right, set your balls down for a second, and let's get into push-up position facing each other, okay? So partner up. Stephanie, I'll be your partner. So we're gonna face each other, we're in push-up position. We start out in plank, so our shoulders are right over our wrists, and we're gonna go one inch wider on the right, one inch wider on the left. Feet apart for balance. We're gonna come all the way down, chest touches the ground. If you can, press up, and high five. There you go, do it again. Let's do 10 of those. Two, don't forget to breathe. Keep your neck long, head up. Our heads are heavy, so we want to drop them because it makes it easier. Four more. Three more. Stay really tight through the core. And I think we hit 10. Good job, jump on in. All right, go ahead and flip over. Back into seated position, we're gonna do what's called under the leg pass. You guys need a break? All right. We don't take a whole lot of breaks at energy yet. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pass that ball right underneath. So one of the ways you can do this, and this would be the modification, is to keep one foot on the ground, okay? Requires a little bit less balance, and it's a little bit easier. The challenge is to get both feet off the ground, and now you're really engaging that core and also balancing. All right, so that's under the leg pass. You guys ready? Tall spines, imaginary string coming from the head. Go back, all the way back until you feel the core engaged, and go ahead and pass underneath. Control. Good, I want you to squeeze those legs. Use the muscles in the lower body. Very nice, Annie. 
Beautiful. Keep it going. Let's do 10 more. Ready? Here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and very last one. All right, go ahead and set your ball down. Take a quick break. How are you guys doing? Let's stretch the shoulders. Right arm across. You're going to press your arm towards your chest and then pull it over to the left until you feel a stretch in the shoulder. And then we're going to switch. Press it in. All right, let's get right back into push up position. And this time, we're going to come down for one, press back up, and then straight leg touch. Now, if you want to do these on your knees, you're going to come down, press up, and touch. Back down on the knees for the push up, up, and straight leg touch. So we're going to do one push up and one straight leg touch on the right, followed by one push up and one straight leg touch on the left. And again, you want to keep the core isolated as you do the movement. Are we ready? Can you guys do 10? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Down and up. One. Right leg touch. Good. And again. Two. Try not to kick your neighbor. Three. Good. Four. Stay tight. The body moves as one unit. Very nice, you guys. Let's do four more. Three more. Two more. You guys want to spread out a little bit when you do these. And last one. All right, swing your legs back around. And we're going to sit back on our heels. Take the right arm back. And then grab that left arm and stretch. OK, well, thank you for this session. It's been a lot of fun. I look forward to doing future episodes and getting people motivated. That was a tough little session and a lot of fun. Good. Glad Thank you. you. Five. That's high five. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. I feel those abs now. That was a good workout. I sweat. I was Did getting you sweaty already? more than expected. <laughs>